It's not easy to find a bad diesel engine. In fact, in general, they are sturdy and durable. And if one is reportedly not good, most of the times it is caused by inappropriate care and abuse. Lots of the troubles could have been avoided, but some engines are faulty from the factory, and here are some of the worst examples. Ford Powerstroke 6.0 Replacing the good old 7.3 litre, which seems to be more preferred, the new 6 litre was bound to agree with the new emission standards, which meant the EGR system, variable geometry turbo and higher pressure fuel injection system. All of these features fail at some point, with the fuel injection control module as well, and supposedly, to fix any of these, the cab must be removed from the car. The best general solution would be to stick to a stock car. Tuning only worsens things. Subaru Boxer Diesel Forums around the internet describe the Boxer Diesel as one of the least reliable diesels ever made. As Subaru wanted to increase sales in Europe, the diesel was a must, but they underestimated it, and the result was catastrophic. Fuel injectors go wrong, the DPF and EGI cause a lot of problems, and if that won't kill it, it will die on crankshaft bearing seas. Models after 2010 are much better, but it is recommended not to ECU tune it. Detroit Diesel 6.2 and 6.5 The GM's family of the 6.2 and 6.5 litre diesels is arguable and has its fans and haters. Especially the NA 6.2 was a sloth. Even though it was naturally aspirated, there were some problems occurring. In 1992, the 6.5 came along and most of them are equipped with a turbo, which adds another element plausible to fail. However, fuel mileage is their big advantage. Numbers like 20 mpg are real. Just don't overload it or tow heavy stuff, it's not meant to do that. Toyota 2AD The 2AD engine is one of the few units which undermines Toyota's good reputation. This is a 4-cylinder diesel used in the Avensis, RAV4 or even Lexus IS220D, but fuel consumption wise, it would be safe to say that it's like a gasoline 6-cylinder. A saying which says the Japanese can't make a good diesel seems to be true. There is also the diesel particle filter which causes troubles. It's not necessarily unreliable, but not very good at all. Audi 2.5 TDI This 6 cylinder TDI is by far one of the worst engines a man could have had. It was an engineering disaster with insufficient lubrication of the cams causing them to fail. The crankcase ventilation overpressurized the block, pushing oil where it should not be, and there was also the infamous Bosch VP45 fuel pump, which was a nightmare. <laughs> Audi 
Oldsmobile LF9. The LF9 wasn't a rocket 350 turned into a diesel as many think, but some components were shared. One of them were the head stud, designed for a low compression petrol engine, used here in a high compression knocker. This led to blown head gasket, broken studs eventually, oil and water consumption, and even a weaker performance. Unability to separate water in the diesel fuel did not help either. You can see that TDI is not a guarantee of reliability. Japanese still cannot make a proper trouble-free diesel, and company making two-stroke diesels forever might not necessarily build a good four-stroke unit. If you have bad experience with any of these or others, share it with us in the comment section and give the video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Cheers! I've been